Hello, my name is Dean and today I would like to provide some assistance with the use of the New South Wales State Archives and Records Authority's GA28 or General Authority Number 28. This authority is designed to assist New South Wales public officers with determining retention and disposal actions for their general administrative records. The key things to remember about this authority is that it applies to all public officers under the State Records Act 1998. It authorises the disposal of the most common administrative and personnel records created and maintained in any format by New South Wales public officers. And it applies to records wholly created after 1940, except where records are required as state archives. Then it applies to records of any age. Records created before 1940, which are not required as state archives, should be referred to the New South Wales State Archives and Records Authority. Remember our organisation provides a range of guides and advice on record keeping on our website at www.records.newsouthwales.gov.au. When you type in that URL using your browser, at the top you will see a tab for government record keeping. Click on this tab and you'll find a range of rules, advice and resources to assist you with managing your New South Wales government records. On the government record keeping page, you will find information on all of our records disposal authorities, which have been grouped under a link, retention and disposal authorities. Click on that link. This provides access to a wealth of information on authorities, both our functional authorities, designed around each individual's agency's needs, as well as the general retention and disposal authorities like GA28 that apply across a range of agencies. Click on the link to view these authorities. You'll find that the very first general authority on this page is number 28 for administrative records. To find more information on GA28, click on more. If you just wanted to start by downloading the whole authority onto your computer or to print it, there's a link to the whole authority on the quick link list on the left of the screen here. Alternatively, on the right, you'll find several useful resources to assist you with using GA28. The first, part one, provides access to each section of the authority in order. This is useful if you're already familiar with the authority and know exactly which section you're interested in. For example, here is the list of the functions covered by the authority in alphabetical order. Assuming you are familiar with these functions, you will readily identify them and be able to select the one you want. Part two provides more information about the authority in general and covers information such, such as its purpose, who uses the authority, what records are covered and how the authority works in tandem with other authorities. All combined to assist you to determine the appropriate retention periods for each class of administrative record. Part three provides more information about the sorts of legislation, acts, regulations and memoranda used to compile GA28 and also some useful publications for reference. If you're less familiar with the authority, the most useful link for you is the A to Z index to its contents. For example, if you have a record in hand and you need to identify its appropriate retention period, this index provides the best means of quickly finding what you need very easily. Click on the index link. This index offers an A to Z guide to where you can find specific keywords describing your record. For example, recently I needed to determine the appropriate retention period for terms of reference for a board. I selected B for board as that was the only keyword I could think of. This index provided a range of keywords starting with B, such as backup logs, balance sheets, ballot papers, etc., as well as the associated sections of GA28 relating to different aspects of those terms, here shown in red. I scrolled down and found boards and it gave me a link to the committees section of the authority. I clicked on this section. This took me to the committee section of GA28, so I could investigate the retention period for terms of reference for boards and committees. Scrolling down, I found section 1.0.2 relating to committees. The description on the left described records of the establishment of the committee, its terms of reference, which is exactly what I was looking for. 
On the right, it gave me the disposal action. In this case, the board committee's terms of reference were designated as required as state archives. This was exactly what I needed to know. Using the index in this way allows you to use keywords describing your record to look up the appropriate section of GA28 to very quickly find the retention and disposal period you need. Just select the part of the index covering the first letter of your keyword and you're immediately taken to the section of GA28 that is relevant to that term. We're always keen to hear suggestions for extra keywords for these indexes, so if you think of a keyword we don't have, please email us at govrec at records.newsouthwales.gov.au. It's also helpful to bookmark any of these pages in your browser so you can easily find them again. Let's try one more example. Say you were looking for the retention period for performance reviews of staff in your organisation. Under P in the index, click on P for performance. Here you'll find performance agreements, counselling, indicators and then management. Personnel Performance Management. Click on that link. Here you will find section 15.9.3 which covers records relating to the assessment, evaluation and review of an employee's performance. It includes performance agreements and development plans, reports on personnel assessments, evaluations and reviews. You will see here that the retention period for these records is three years. So there's our answer. Now returning to the guide, after the index link, you will also find some very frequently asked questions or FAQs. This page covers issues relating to GA28, ranging from resentencing requirements through to the authority's applicability to various agencies. I hope this webinar has provided help with using GA28. Check out all the links I've shown you, as well as the huge number of other resources and guidance available at the New South Wales State Archives and Records Authority's website at www.records.newsouthwales.gov.au. Also, if you have any feedback or suggestions or keywords for our indexes, just email us at govrec at records.newsouthwales.gov.au. That's it for today and goodbye for now.